story of the golden goose. Did you hear this growing up? I love talking about it because it is so perfect for what so many people are doing in business, burning themselves out. And when things get busy in my business, I always say I have to protect the golden goose. So what is the story of the golden goose? It kind of goes like this. There was a man who had a goose that started laying golden eggs. And he was like, sweet, I'm going to be so rich. And it did make him very rich, but he got greedy and impatient and he wanted to become even richer faster. So he decided to cut open his goose so he can get all of the gold at once. But of course, when he killed his goose, all that was inside was goose guts. There was no more gold and he realized that that in his greed, he had killed the source of his wealth. Now, there are so many things that we can learn from this story, but the first thing to know is that you are the golden goose. You can profit for a long time in your business through your skills and your talents, but not if you kill the source of your creativity. Now, when my husband joined my business a couple of years ago and he was like, wow, you've made a lot of money, but you don't seem to be working that hard. Why don't we just have more launches and do more things and we'll make more money? And Like, let's flog the golden goose, i.e. me. And you know what? That really killed my energy and enthusiasm for the business, and it was not good for our marriage either. I'm not being dramatic, but yes, there was lots of times in that first year working together that we were going to kill each other. Because I realized that without me, without my energy, there is no business. And yes, maybe we can squeeze out a bit more profit, but There's just some goose guts in there, right? So you have to learn to take care of your golden goose so you can lay golden eggs for a long time. And I've become a fierce defender of my golden goose now, and I have to protect it from myself, from boundary oversteps, and from other people who think I can just work harder. So here's my question to you. Are you in burnout mode right now? So many people experience this, especially in times like we're in at the moment where you feel like you should just work harder. And I was really ashamed to acknowledge that I was burning out because it felt like I couldn't hack it, that I should just be able to work harder. I felt incredibly embarrassed about it. And even admitting that I was burnt out felt like I was being such a loser. And it was because in our quest to succeed, we thought that more work would equal more money, but it doesn't always work like that. And I've been so burnt out sometimes I just wanted to sit and just play mindless games on my phone. And I really missed out on all of that beautiful creativity in my business. And you know what? I am the kind of person, I'll go on holidays, I'll still think about my business. I'll get blog ideas during a massage. And I love work. I am a high achiever by every measure, but that doesn't mean you have to burn yourself out. It does not mean that you have to kill your golden goose just for money. There is another way. So the first thing to do to protect your golden goose is to admit where you might be burning yourself out or having unsustainable business practices, because if you're not having that problem now, it still might come up in the future. So for example, one of my bad behaviors is that I totally overestimate what I can achieve, especially during launches. And I forget that I'm a human who needs time off for pleasure and restoration and, you know, just spaciousness. But you have to do that for yourself. Nobody else is going to help you create that spaciousness and those boundaries that you might need to avoid burning out. So ask yourself, do you really want to burn out in a couple of years instead of having a beautiful, long, successful and rewarding career with golden eggs for years to come? If you have a business that requires like every drop of blood, sweat and tears, it's only a matter of time before it catches up to you, either in the form of a health wake up call, which has happened to a lot of my friends, or some other kind of disaster. I've had friends who only stopped working because they got a cancer diagnosis or they had a traumatic birth of a baby or some other horrible thing that happened that forced them into that. And we can avoid that by consciously choosing to look after our inner golden goose. And then we can have these beautiful, long-lasting careers. 
Now, if any of this sounds familiar, by the way, you might be a ruler money archetype like I am. And rulers, we lie to ourselves. We always say that we'll just work a little bit hard now and then we'll take some time off. We see money ideas everywhere and it can be really hard to switch off. But that can lead to a lot of burnout. But there can be a better way for rulers. So how do you know if you are a ruler money archetype? Well, you can take my free quiz and find out and find out how to leverage the strengths of your unique money personality and not burn out or overcomplicate your business. So you can take the quiz at denisedt.com slash quiz and find out if you're a, a ruler like I am, um, because we really have to look after our inner golden gooses. You have to protect the golden goose so you'll be able to create abundance for a long time to come. All right, gorgeous. Protect that inner golden goose. Go take the quiz. Find out if you are a ruler archetype like I am, and I'll see you on the other side.